Okay, so it's been a while. As well today, I'm filming this on December 30th, and I'm just checking my channel. The last time I uploaded was November 20 something, 2018. So it's been a while. Since then, my setup has downgraded. I'm recording this on my phone. So if I'm looking there at myself instead of there at the lens, I'm sorry, but also, why is my hair like this? Can I fix the biting a little bit? That'll do. So I'm doing a, like, a little update video because I decided I want to get back into making book videos again. So there's a little update. So when I upload my next video, it's not just out of nowhere. Like, I've been gone for a while. So in the year I've been gone, I finished my A-levels and I spent pretty much all this time working on my photography A-level because my editing takes hours so it's taken up a lot of my time and I decided to take a break from making videos and put all my time into A-levels So, the one I did uh, photography, I got an A I did film and video, I got an A and I did English language and got a C because apparently our teachers didn't teach us like anything we needed to know so like the odds were not in my favour and since finishing college I've now started university <coughs> excuse me and I'm doing a bachelor's degree in photography because although writing is my passion and like the big thing I want to do is be an author I've realised that that's something I'd rather discover for myself rather than pay a lot of money to be taught it so I'm doing photography and the main reason for that is we get taught about industry connections <laughs> so I'm using, I'm paying a lot of money, I'm pursuing a very bad financial decision just to get some email addresses <laughs> but also since then I mean I finished my first semester now and I photographed a concert back in November which, and concert photography is now big dreams <laughs> so that's the minute it happened but anyway any general life updates since then um, my mental health is still crumbling. I've now become the kind of person who wears slippers. I'm aware that Amazon as a company is morally and ethically a disgrace, but I would still give them my first one child, and I am still writing the first draft of Paper Forests. It's been like two years now. <laughs> Must have been like one and a half. Either way, I'm hoping to finish it and release it in 2020 sometime. And then it'll be three years since Beauty and the Breakdown came out. Also, since, we, since we've been gone, I dyed the ends of my hair blue again. It faded, so I dyed it blue again in my uni bathroom. It faded, so I dyed the ends purple. And now it's like this purpley, bluey, silvery grey colour. And it's alright. Also, I really need a haircut because it's been six months and I'm looking a bit troll-like. And also got a massive t-shirt, so like, yeah, that's the thing. But anyway, okay, some upcoming videos I want to do. I've had some advanced copy reviews I want to do. The main one is Infinity Sun by, is it Adam Silvera? Silver, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I'm going to say Silvera for now, and correct me if I'm wrong. But Infinity Sun was such a hyped and anticipated read for me. I think it comes out, is it January 2020? So probably the next video you see will be the review for that. And I, ha I have a lot of thoughts for it. So that's the main video I'm going to do. I think some other reviews I'm doing... I read those Throne of Glass prequels. I read it as like the individual short stories rather than like... I think it's called The Assassin's Blade. So I want to review that. I want to read Throne of Glass. Even though these books came out years ago. I'm like very behind. But I still feel like I have to read and review like the big YA books, you know? So that's going to be a review coming out. And also, uh, in preparation for self-publishing, I think I'm probably going to do another How to Help Authors video. I think I want to do like what, like, what writing fanfiction taught me. Because I've seen a few posts going around and everyone's still slandering fanfiction in this good old 2019 slash 2020 when you'll probably see this. But writing fanfiction taught me so much. I've made a blog post on it which will not be up yet. So I'm going to do a video version of that. And I've also got to do like my 2019 year in review stuff. Like the best books 2019, the worst books. I wrote a blog post on the worst books. 
just because I thought that'd be like a refreshing change. <laughs> and also I saw Isla from, is it a Whisperer Rink? I saw her do it and I just steal people's ideas. I might do a, like what I read the entire year. I did a video, it's like a 20 minute video, was it last year? Or you, I've done it at some point. Well, I just went through every single book I read in the year. And that was it. But I've read a lot more this year and that could be a massive video unless I do it in parts. And what, what's one final thing I want to do? I think I need to do a new TBR video because I am now the proud owner of about 320 like physical books. And there's so many I now have to read because while in uni I discovered my library has like a ebook system like it's got a Kindle app so I've just been like reading so many ebooks and so many novellas just to get like my reading challenge goal done and I've neglected physical books so I have I keep gaining them but I don't read them so that's the thing <coughs> and I think that's all I want to say now so thank you for watching this and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video bye this is the YouTuber thing